get a handle on yeah. him. Yeah, I think that character is just... You're gonna need some time, but here we go. BGBC zone. Coney go, but going up against NSM Mika. Battlefield is the pick for game number one. Um, not the normal uh, PS2, which is what a lot of people have been opting to start off with. And already, you know, Coney getting a, a decent start, kind of closing that gap, applying the pressure. And currently, Nika not really having an answer. All the ink, so much damage right oh, now, sitting at 72. 72 damage. 20 seconds in. That's crazy. Nico wisely getting out of that situation, but he might be back in it. All right, the side B gives him, you know, a little bit of damage. Really, his first damage he's gotten so far this game. Yeah, and the thing about the Holy Cross is that, again, even if you throw it out and don't catch it, it's okay because it actually acts more of a combo breaker in a lot of situations, kind of like a Marvel assist, which is what, one of the things I really like about that move. And it's taking a bit. Nika finally looking like he's getting his footing. Now that... uh. Coney is on the platform, stuck trying to get down, but Coney patience is the key, managing to get down, but just like that, taking some big time damage from Nika. And and the thing that Coney is like, good tech. Ooh. He was ready yeah. for it. He knew the situation he was in. As soon as he got hit off of the the side B, the B, he said, "Hey, it's time to tech." Still alive and might be able to take this stock. No, Coney wisely jumping out of the situation. And that's something a lot of people don't really realize is that. Jumping is such a useful tool at the ledge, especially because so many people are prepared to stop the roll in the get-up option. But the jump, you can just kind of quietly go over people's head, which he just did, but yeah. Nika having an answer to it. Yeah, the thing that Kony as a player, more often than not, he really likes to edge guard. Like you'll see here, he's going to go for that. He, he's pretty aggressive off stage. Oh, get whipped! Come make it some whips in the chat. Okay, he was aggressive, but he might not want to do that again. And he actually didn't. He said, you know what, yeah. I'm not even going off stage, not taking that chance. But he gives up stage control, Nika making it back on, but only for a moment. But he has 8% lead. That is a huge difference from where he started off from. Yeah, definitely being able to pick up that first stock. Nika looking pretty good once he was settled, but there was a huge deficit in terms of damage at the very beginning. And Woo! it's going to rack up again, 73. So quick. Big time damage. Oh, and finally getting a chance to make that roller work. He missed it earlier, but he wasn't punished. Ooh, Another great tech. Yeah. I think Nika said thanks for the assist. He was wondering how he's going to get back. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he, that was, uh, he was pretty low down there. Okay, throwing out the Holy Fire, getting hit with that forward air. Good stuff. Aggressive stage. Uh, excuse me. Edge guarding option from Kony, as I was talking about earlier. That boy likes to go in deep with those edge guards. And Nika going to lose that second stock in spectacular fashion. That was sick. I really like Coney's movement right now. You know, one thing about the Belmonts that's so good is that if they hit, their, hit your shield, you can't really punish them, but Coney's just not shielding. He's just jumping around, being evasive as ever. And that's how he got that opening, but he wasn't able to capitalize. Could be huge. Oh, he's actually going to be able to whip, but using the grab to get rid of the Holy Cross That pressure. was so smart. Everybody's grab has invincibility. And as long as you time it right, you can do things like that. But Coney guessing wrong right there gives us stays control, but Nika not able to make much happen. And the thing about Inkling is why this character is so good, has so much damage potential. Inkling is a damage factory. He took it. He took it oh, back. Give me this water. Hey, I'm thirsty. Okay. Trying to space up with that backer on the ledge. Going to get blocked the roller. I mean, that roller, people talk, complain about a lot. If you block it, you, that's a free punish. Yep. And you it's really slow. It, right? And it doesn't have any priority. You yeah. can actually just hit it outright. See? Right there. Ooh, good stuff. Good clip by Nika off the top goes Coney. And that will be Coney on his last stock here. Big damage coming through, 21 already. We're going to find out if Nika has what it takes. Is he clutch? He put 31 on, has to recover. He makes it back, but only for the moment. Coney going deep. Nika going to make it back. And the up B hitbox on the way down, saving uh, Coney for the moment. Using the Holy Cross as kind of a get out of jail free card. Woo! Ooh, good stuff. And the down air, he angled the forward air as well. Big damage coming in this from is Nika. Huge. This is so huge right now. If a holy fire catches Coney right now, he could lose his stock. He's at 85. Yeah, I don't know if it'll do it coast to coast, but definitely if he's on the ledge, Coney electing to give up stage control. He yep. doesn't shield it again. The dash attack going to connect 177% on Nika. <gasps> great air dodge. Great air dodge on the ledge and he's trying to get center stage. Coney electing to give up stage control here. Oh, but that's it. I don't think you can make it back, my friend. Yeah. Okay, he tried to go for a stage spike, though. He was like, maybe, but what if? So good stuff, Coney being able to clinch out that game. Number one, going to the anime inkling. Yeah, but um, good adjustments nonetheless, because yeah. he was, there was a deficit. Coney was definitely yeah. doing everything correct for the majority of that round, but Nika making some adjustments, showing he still had that comeback potential, and really 
could have gone either way. If he got on stage just one more time, yeah, you know, Coney could be going to loser's bracket. Can I get the Richter? Okay, or not? He's not doing it. He's like my side. All right, all right. So can I get close. some Be Gone's in the chat? Be Gone! I need some of that. Give me some of that. Game number two, we're getting the run back here to Battlefield. And I don't, I do think that that game was actually relatively close. Nika was not able to clutch it out as much as you would like, but he definitely brought it back towards the mid game. But that, that makes it scary for Kony because Nika was bringing it back. So what happens if he doesn't get behind? We might see things like this 47 to 21 Nika just having such great control right there. Overstep for a moment, but Kony only getting minimal damage off of it. Goes it down, great jab. Tony's doing a great job of avoiding all of these air, uh, all of these projectiles here. Being able to use Inkling's right movement. He dead? He's, he's dead. dead. Yo, Yo. Why, why, is, why is he allergic to whips and chains? Yo, let me get some whips in the chat. Okay, but Coney firing right back. Very aggressive all stage. Tacked on a bit of damage and didn't get the stock. Still searching for it. A bit overzealous, though. Almost gave up stage control for it. Yet again, he is back. Coney right now not exactly in the best position. At 35 now, Anika, he's just displaying great patience. You know, he's just waiting for an opening and just punishing accordingly. He recognized that Kony is kind of forcing the approach. Kony isn't just sitting back and waiting. He's he's always choosing an option that's a bit aggressive. Even if he's jumping up first, he's still going forward. And that's exactly what Nika's capitalizing on right now. Yeah, especially for since so much. So, ooh, is he dead? Good stuff using the up smash to the forward smash, trying to get the maximum amount of, amount of damage here. Ooh, he almost lost his stock. Yeah. He almost got whipped. So considering that a lot of players are new to Ultimate Logic, how would you uh, approach fighting a character in general as uh, like Belmont, a projectile-based character? How would I'm you approach still that? trying to figure it out. <laughs> 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 no, but um, in all seriousness, learning to parry is probably huge because a lot of these, like, no parrying projectiles isn't the end-all, be-all, doesn't help out that much. However, parrying a, um, an aerial or smash attack it gives so much extra time to actually punish the Belmonts for the options they're choosing. Um, between that and doing what Kony's doing, not shielding it, either parry it or just avoid the shield altogether. Yeah, Belmont's really abused the fact that, ooh, are you gone? Okay. Well, that was weird. That was a weird hitbox. He didn't get the strong hit that he wanted. Um, but that's really would be the advice and learning the edge guard him because they're, you know, when they do forward air, they can't hit you with it and grab the ledge. Yeah. So just go out there, press them. Ooh, wow. good clip on the up smash. Kony on his last stock here. Nika trying to take this and force it to a game number three. And he's looking real good after a shaky start to round number one. He makes it back. Kony is looking. You could tell Kony, he had a goal. He thought that stock was going to be over. Nika managing to get out and adding on much needed damage. But there it is. No, he, he didn't cancel it. Nika lives. N Nika misses. Oh, he thought he, thought he had a jump. He thought okay. he had a jump. I thought I heard a, a forward air back here come out. Because like, there's no, Nico's too experienced. I would have assumed there was some misinformation. The, game, thought, the game's not even a month old yet, you know. Okay. Nico's a lab monster, man. Okay, you've been labbing for years? I mean, I'd still be at, at least 20. I still mess up recoveries. Nolamar is the same <laughs> for the last 10 years, bro. <laughs> it's the same, man. Well, <laughs> the damage actually, you know, when you're playing against a character like Inkling, nothing to, he's not short on damage. Yeah, for so. sure. And Kony took full advantage of that misstep by Nika. He started tagging on that damage, managed to take that lead. And Nika, you know, he really needs to make use of that shield and that patience he was using earlier if he wants to still possibly bring it to a game three. But Kony is oh, not going to let it stuff. happen. Aggressive option off the ledge. 